Hi, students. Um, I'm going to tell you about how to use Burlington English on your phone. So we'll learn how to log in and find your course on the phone. So um, on my phone, I have downloaded Burlington English and it looks like this when you're looking for it on your phone. Um, you can download it from the App Store if you have an iPhone or from the Play Store um, if you have a different kind of phone and um, you would just search for Burlington English. So there I see Burlington English and download that or open it. So now that I have that on my phone, um, I'm going to open it. And here I will um, see the username and password. So you can get your username or password from your teacher. <clears throat> and your username um, will be all small letters. So let's look at what that means. Let's try that first. I click on username and then I'm going to write my username. So one problem right now when I'm writing my username is that the first letter is big. We don't want big. So um, all the letters should be small. So I will delete that and start again. At the bottom of the screen, there's the keyboard and we have this um, black arrow. When it's all black, um, I it can be a little different for each phone, but um, you will see all the letters are big. So all these letters are big. <clears throat> we can change that by clicking the arrow. And now you see the arrow is gray. Um, also, all the letters are small. So this is good. We want small letters. So now I will type my username. And then um, make sure that there's not a space at the beginning. So here's the space. You, you should not put a space. So if you have a problem, um, when you try again, make sure no space, no big letters. So now I'll put in the password. Um, and this one is also small letters, but we don't need to change anything. If I want to see the password before I press login to check if it's correct, um, I would click this one. And now I can see the password to make sure it's correct. And then I would press log in. Great, now I'm logged in and I will see um, this message 
I am using Burlington English at school or away from school. Most of the time you would use it away from school. If your teacher uses it in class and she tells you um, you should change it to at school, you can do that. But almost all the time you would use away from school. So make sure to click this one and not this one. And okay, now <clears throat> you see many different boxes, um, different colors. So we want to find our class, find our homework. The main one we need is courses. So look for that. It might be here, it might be here, um, but it should say courses, courses. When I click on courses, I will see uh, many different um, classes, different lessons and this is at the top is what most students will use. And that's the Burlington core. So your teacher will tell you which color to use. And I'll just show you one of them, but you can ask, this is the basic like level one, the red, and this is the most difficult, the green. So I'll look at the purple. And you will see um, some of these different options. Student lessons is where you will find homework. Um, so let's check the student lessons. <clears throat> you also will see vocabulary practice. So you can practice the words with different games or listening and activities. So let's check that. And Um, there are many different topics. Um, let's see, let's look at number three, getting a job. So if I want to see more, I can click on anywhere on this bar or on the arrow, anywhere on the bar, and then there are, we can see all the lessons about getting a job, many different lessons. And I can look at um, all of these different ones, different lessons. And your teacher will tell you which um, topic and which lesson to study, <clears throat> but this is where you can find them. If I want to go back at the top, there's an arrow and um, let's go. So that was student lessons. So we just looked at the courses, but there are many other things in Burlington. Um, let's look at one more. Maybe you will look at others. 
in class, but there's the readers. So this is books that you can read. And you'll see many different books. You can look by pressing the arrows. Um, so you just click on the book. If I want to open the book, continue, press continue. And then I can see um, what's inside of the book. I can make things bigger on my phone, very big. I can make them smaller. <clears throat> And you can also listen to the book at the top. The next day, hundreds of servants come to clean the temple. Then they bring 500 mattresses and... And um, you can also turn the page by pressing the arrows. So those are some different books. Now you have learned how to log in um, and uh, you looked at the courses. So that's where to find your homework. And um, also you looked at the readers if you want to um, do any reading. And that is how to use Burlington English on the phone. So thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoy using Burlington.